Well, students could be paying up to $1,000 more per year than they were before, depending on what school they go to. Now, those students and a lot of community leaders got to speak at a public meeting, but ultimately, unfortunately, their concerns were not addressed. The CSCU system includes Western, Eastern, Central, and Southern Connecticut universities and about a dozen community colleges. This 5% tuition and fees hike approved by the Regent Board is coming as the second increase in less than a year. Student and state leaders now saying they cannot afford to pay even more for the classes they're taking. While the students are paying more, the colleges are providing even less. Last month, the group announced cuts to faculty and class options, putting a hardship on students. Governor Ned Lamont has also said the schools are receiving a record amount of state funding, meaning they shouldn't be in as much of a deficit as they are. So what exactly does a 5% hike even look like for you? Well, when it's broken down, state university students will pay almost $1,000 more per year, which includes housing and food prices as well, while community college students will pay around $250 more per year as well. And students and state leaders say that as it's getting so expensive, they do expect less students to be enrolled every year. Now, if you are one of the students that does plan on steering the course and continue, continuing forward with your education here at one of these schools, you do have options as far as aid goes. You can get money on both the federal and the state level. Depending on which one you qualify for, those are options that are available to you. Live in New Britain, Brooke Griffin, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.